Hello there, my amazing cucumbers. It's your girl, Forbidden Words ASMR here. Before we get into this, I just want to let you know that there is an NSFW extension of this audio on Patreon. So if you do wish to see that, please support me further by going to my Patreon and buying that. This is an 18 plus audio along with all of my other work. It is not for anyone under the age. So if you are watching or on my channel of underage, please leave and unsubscribe. Now, if you aren't subscribed, please subscribe as we are trying to hit to 100k and it is very important to me and a dream of mine to get a plaque, so help your girl out with that. Other than that though, I really do hope you all enjoy the content and please comment down below more on my videos. I would love to see what your guys' thoughts are, opinions and so on and so forth and it helps boost my videos into the algorithm. So yeah, hit the notification bell so you know whenever I upload more content like this and if you did stay for the intro, I love you so so much and yeah, enjoy this audio and get excited. A little bit of a trigger warning actually before we get into it. Um, This is a little bit sadistic, I'm not going to lie about that, especially if you um, do end up watching the NSFW extension. It has a little bit of a somewhat uh, blood play, we'll say that anyways. Hope you all enjoy, have a good day, and stay safe. Oh, does that hurt? Your little leg, all cut up. Now that's no way to talk to me, my little pet. Now is it? <laughs> oh. Ugh, man blood. Mm -hmm. You really are so good. Such fresh prey. But I can't give you to mother. Mother doesn't want us around men. But I think I'll make an exception for you. Don't you think? I think you're worth it. It's very rare that someone of your caliber walks in here. Very rare indeed. <sighs> I really do think you'll make a fantastic feast. Honestly, I kinda can't get over it. <sighs> it's enough to make my heart weep. <laughs> Oh, my sisters would be so jealous if they knew I had you right here. Uh, uh, uh. There's no need to struggle against the restraints. Those chains aren't budging. I made very, very, very sure of that. <laughs> oh, look at you, you poor thing. Already struggling and crying and begging. But understand, if you keep... Shouting like that and my sister's here, well, they'll want to ruin my fun, and we wouldn't want them to ruin my fun now, would we? Just stay still. A little blood never hurt anyone, and I'm pretty sure it isn't gonna hurt you. You have plenty to spare. I'm pretty sure losing two pints wouldn't hurt. After all... I'm going to make you my little plaything. Would you want that? To be my little toy? Be at my mercy? Oh, I think you would. Oh, I think you really would, wouldn't you? To be my little pet. Let me drink from you whenever I so please and desire. Why should mother have all the fun? And everyone else? It's not fair. I deserve to have fun as well. It's not like I'm a little girl anymore. <sighs> you want to stay with me, right? Come on. Of course you do. What am I asking? That's stupid. <laughs> I know you want to stay with me. It's in your eyes. I can already read you like a book. The way you look at me so... Uh, it's intoxicating. I can assure you, I smell everything. <laughs> and I see it too. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, darling. As I said, your fear arousal, all of it. It is quite intoxicating, the way you fear me. Ugh, it sends a rush through my system. Even your blood tastes so much sweeter when you're afraid. <laughs> You don't want to leave me now, do you? You want to stay here forever. Of course you do. Hmm. But do I truly want you? Huh. I mean, that is a quite a good question. What makes you so special? Or am I going to get bored? I don't know. Perhaps. Maybe I will get bored. Maybe you'll become disposable to me. Or maybe your blood will be so intoxicating I can't let you go. Oh. You really are a helpless little animal around me, aren't you? Look at you. So helpless. Just chained up there. At my mercy, it's quite thrilling. I already want to stick my teeth into that slender little neck of yours. Taste it all. <sighs> Even the blood. I hope I didn't hurt your leg too badly. If I do want to keep you as a pet, I suppose I should take better care of my toys. <sighs> I wonder how, though. Do I really want to keep you around? Hmm. The consequences could be quite dire when... Mother finds out. Oh, I'm Bella, by the way. <laughs> I don't know if I mentioned who I was, but yes. I know that you think humans aren't really uh, smart. I mean, that's why it was so easy to catch you when you were wandering around. You'd think that you would have a little bit of self-preservation, but you don't. Quite idiotic of you, honestly. I'm really hiding in a church. You thought that was going to deter me from getting you? <laughs> Humans. Absolute idiots. But... Huh, I wonder. I suppose I need to take better care of you. Huh. I wonder where I'm going to keep you. That's another really good question. I can't risk mother finding you or my sisters, and they're very, very pushy and very nosy. They don't know how to keep themselves at bay. And there's also the problem of your blood. As intoxicating as it is to me and sets off my little primal desires for you, I can't risk anyone else smelling you, so it needs to be somewhere deeper. Huh. I have a few ideas. But I'm not 100% sure where. As I said, it's a little difficult to decide. Hmm. I wonder. I suppose I could keep you in my quarters for a while. In here, of course. Uh, but you can't leave. Do you promise you'll stay and be my good little pet? Well, if you leave... <laughs> I can't protect you anymore. I'll have to let you be killed and slaughtered and ripped apart and feasted upon. But if you stay, I promise I'll take good care of you. <laughs> as long as you serve your purpose well. I'm a patient woman. I don't mind waiting for your blood to regenerate, so I'm not going to drink you dry. But... Mm. I can't lie. It would be good to cuddle with someone for a while. I take it you see me as a monster. It's fine. I expected as much, but I'm not just a monster. I just love to taste the blood. It's what I am. It's in my very core, my very genetics, my very being. I can't change who I am. But I also have desires. 
though most are dark and most are very uh, fucked up, I suppose we could say. I have a lot of desires, very primal desires, but I'm pretty sure you'd like that, wouldn't you? It's really sad, honestly. See, I've always wanted to be hunted, but I guess I'll never get that. I'm too scary for people to want to hunt. Though there was a man, a long, long time ago, who failed, but he was a little bit different. Mother took a very especially. Mother took a very. Hmm. Special kind of liking to him. His name was Ethan Winters. <laughs> Looking for his daughter, Rose. He never did get her, but. It was very interesting, to say the least. Hmm. <sighs> Well then, are you going to choose to stay with me? Or are you going to run? <laughs> As if you could outrun me. No, but our little games will be quite fun, don't you agree? Even my knife against that little jugular of yours. You can't disobey me no matter how hard you try. It's in your very core. You want this, don't you? You want this more than you've ever wanted anything in your life. And that's fine. There's no need for that. I already took all your weapons away. I'm not taking you off your chains. Not till I know I can trust you enough to stay put like a good little animal. And I know you humans with your flight or fight responses and you already know you can't fight so i can't have you running away now what good would that do me <laughs> oh how wonderful you're going to be the best little toy so pathetic and weak it is quite beautiful honestly but i gotta have my fun with you Hmm. My fun isn't over. It never will be. I'm never fully satisfied. But what I do want is all of you. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe I want your heart to race, not just in fear, but in something else. But that's a little complicated. Would mother accept? Would she allow me to keep you? Or would she rip your head off? Probably both. I feel like she would accept you for a while, but then eventually would rip your head off. But who knows? She's very unpredictable, that woman. Uh. I'm not a monster, you know. I never asked to be this way. This is just what I am. And that frightens you, doesn't it, darling? But I can already sense a kindred spirit inside of that little heart of yours. We both love fear, don't we? We both crave it, desire it, seek it out. That's why you were in the village. Don't even lie about it. No one with half a brain cell would come near this place. You were here looking for something. Someone, perhaps? Mm. Of course you weren't looking for someone. You love the thrill of the chase. Even the blood that drips down your neck. Uh, you really are intoxicating. I don't think I could ever get enough of it. I won't lie. <laughs> but maybe it was meant to be because you found me. Or, correction, I found you. My new little pet. I don't need to know your name. It's not even important. But all 
I do know is that I crave you. Every little part. And those eyes, those beautiful, beautiful eyes. I could get lost in them. Hmm. I normally don't do this. I'm taking a very big, big risk for having you here, a little mouse. But I'm not letting you go. After all, I did catch my prey, and why on earth would I let it go? You're mine. Every little part of you is mine. Whether you like it or not, you'll learn to enjoy it. You'll learn to crave it. You just have a little bit of fear at the moment. Have shame. Shame for those petty little desires. Shame for society not wanting to accept them. But I accept them. And no one else matters outside this room. So all those little petty morals that you have, you should drop them. They're not going to save you. Because we both know you want me as much as I want you. Every little part of you, your body aches and screams for me. I can already see it. (laughs) Oh. Well, aren't you the sweetest? Like a little lamb caught in my trap. Confused. Scared. (sighs) You smell incredible. But I think it's feeding time. I'm very parched. And I'm very hungry. So. What do you say? You want to have a little bit of fun. Uh, I don't think you need to run, but just tilt that little neck of yours back. Move down that little hoodie of yours. (sighs) Stop crying. Yes. (laughs) I knew you'd like it. Oh, it's so beautiful hearing those sensitive little moans vibrate through your throat. It's incredible. I do love it. Your blood is incredible as well. Oh, look at you. I only took a little bit and you already look so glassy-eyed. It does feel good though, doesn't it? Can't let any go to waste now, can I? (laughs) Oh, you're so sweet. So sensitive. Already blushing. I can see it. All the flush creeping up that neck of yours. The blood rushing to your head. It's almost intoxicating. Hmm. I should probably fix that leg of yours up. Last thing I need is you bleeding out all over my carpet. Oh, Oh well. Come here. There we go. Just lift that up. It's not bad. It's a flesh wound. (laughs) Well, you should not have run from me then, shouldn't you? It's kind of your own fault. Now, do I have anything I can use? This is gonna hurt. But... Alcohol is the easiest way. There we go. Yes, yes, I know you're screaming. I know, it hurts, it hurts, but it's the best way. There, you should be fine. 
it'll stop it from getting infected. That's the last thing we want, right? Well, I don't want my little toy getting infected now. My little plaything. I can't risk you dying or your blood to get infected or poisoned or whatever. So, I've got to be very careful with how I do things. <laughs> I know, I know. It's okay, darling. Yes, it burns. Embrace it. Well, I gotta keep you safe now, don't I? I've decided to keep you. For a while, at least. Hopefully you don't die. But you look strong enough to handle what I can throw at you. <laughs> what? Oh, you poor thing. <laughs> but I must have my f fun. I, I can't give up already. No, oh, all the begging and pleading isn't going to make me want to let you go. Nor am I going to. You're mine. Every little part of you is mine. Do I make myself clear? Good. Because if you defy me again... You know what happens when you defy me? <laughs> I guess I should let you rest for a while. No doubt my mother will be home soon. Don't know where she is, but she is out doing something. And my sisters are playing board games. Or hunting. Probably both. You really are scared of me, aren't you? It's only a little bit of pain. I suppose in a way you could say biting is my love language. Well, technically it's not cannibalism, darling. We aren't... I am not technically a human, so... Does it really count? Ugh, I'm barely even hurting you. It's only a little bit of blood. Get over yourself. Whining and whining. You know you like it. Just give in. Stop biting it. I know that little heart beats for me. I can hear it. I can already smell it from you. So be super good for me. And just give in. You know you want to. Your body screams for me. <laughs> oh yeah? You want me to prove it? <laughs> okay, darling. But remember, you asked for it. 